The Varroa destructor mite is the most damaging honeybee pest worldwide. The Varroa mite weakens bees and shortens their lives, decreasing their reproduction and productivity. While the mite is not present in Australia, it is a major threat because of its ability to devastate honeybee colonies and fundamentally change beekeeping practices. Looking at the spread of Varroa around the world and the New Zealand experience from living with Varroa can give us a good idea of what might happen in the event of a Varroa incursion in Australia. Varroa is one of thousands of types of mites, with some specialised to live in beehives. While most mites don't kill their hosts, Varroa is different because it can kill its host. Varroa is able to breed in drone brood cells and also in worker cells of European honeybees. If Varroa is not controlled, European honeybees would not be able to survive throughout most of the world. Varroa mites were originally parasites of the Asian honeybee, but by 1963, Varroa had been found on European honeybees in Eastern Asia and then spread into Europe, probably via Russia. The European honeybees had little resistance to Varroa and it has since killed millions of colonies in Asia, Europe, the Americas and Africa. By 1999, the presence of Varroa had been reported in most beekeeping areas of the world, with the exception of Australia and New Zealand. This changed in April 2000, when it was reported by a beekeeper in Auckland. As soon as it was found, we did a big survey to see how far it spread, and it was decided that it was too, spread too far to um, attempt to eradicate it. So a line was put across the centre of the North Island, and we prevented any hives being moved south of that line, really just to try and slow down its spread. The line stayed there for about three years, but by that stage there was about 10,000 apiaries north of the line that had Varroa, and there was about 100 apiaries south of the line. So at that point it was decided it was no longer feasible to keep the line, and it was removed. Varroa was first found on the South Island in the Nelson region in June 2006. The initial response was to try and eradicate, but after six months when this approach had not worked, it was decided to focus on efforts on slowing its spread across the South Island. New Zealand beekeepers now have to manage and try to limit the impact of one of the most devastating bee pests in the world. Feral or unmanaged honeybee colonies are usually destroyed by infestations, affecting the pollination services they currently provide for free. If left untreated, managed honeybee colonies can also be killed in the presence of Varroa. Varroa changes beekeeping practices and adds to the cost of beekeeping by adding to labour costs needed to manage colonies and having to buy mite treatments. Australia has a healthy bee population and we want to keep it that way. If you see anything unusual on your bees, call the Exotic Plant Pest Hotline on 1800 084 881. For more information about bee biosecurity, go to the Be Aware website at www.beaware.org.au